There's a very small window to catch a, a fish of a certain class. I think it gives you a different respect for it. If you could catch them all the time, yeah, I'm sure it would be easy to get complacent. That's just a truly special fish. Beach fishing for us is all bait driven. Find the birds, find the bait, find the fish. You know, it's the same, same song and dance you hear a lot of places, but you know, for us, it really is true. Redfish candy. You shoot out the inlet in the morning, you don't know if bait is gonna be the easiest part of the day or the hardest part of the day. Fortunately today, it was the easiest part. We ran out the inlet, saw some birds working through the cast net twice and had more than we'll need. There's bait from here as far as you can see. Got that, let me in. 10 more. Pushed out to about 25 foot of water. And these fish are big and they're mean when they get in the bait. So, you know, we're extra heavy tackle today. I mean, it's five and 6,000 spinning reels, 50 pound braid, heavier fluorocarbon. This time of year, if we were going to get a bite, it was going to be the right bite. You're back marking them like you are a minute again. When we caught them or when it was just like, when it was just full? Oh, oh there he is. There he is. Get a bait out, run. Captain Tim DeSano owned Tideline Charters here in Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. Born and raised. Love this area. We're as much the low country as anywhere, but we uh, we were the last ones to put it on a t-shirt. Had some buddies growing up that, that were really, really into fishing and we all just kind of learned it the hard way. Being out in a John boat, not having a clue what we were doing, being in areas that we should have never been in. Took it to a point that I either needed to try to make a living doing this or I was going to just have a hard time doing anything else. I'm blessed beyond measure to make a living in the outdoors, be able to get to see and do things every day that some people wait all year to get to do once. Right in the glare. Oh, there he is, there he is. Yes, yes sir. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I put that one in his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a redfish is a redfish no matter where he is, and we've got plenty of habitat for him. We have expansive marshes, huge tide swings. We're fishing in the grass, mud, oysters, all that good stuff. It's been a lot of fun for me over the years to take anglers that only thought that you could catch a redfish on a cut mullet. Now those same guys are fishing with us in the dead of the winter and we're catching them on fly, catching them on super small finesse plastics. There are days where we're just going to go and we're going to push the envelope a little bit and try something new, but there's also times where we're going to do what works. Sometimes you get back to your roots a little bit. That's the biggest thing I think is, unfortunately sometimes kind of lost is that this is supposed to be fun for everybody. And fun for me, like where I, you know, if I could do nothing but shallow technical, you know, kind of stuff, that's what I would do. But, you know, we want everybody to be involved in being out on the water and not just the seasoned pros. I've got a lot of guys that have been fishing with me now for, for years and we started doing stuff like this. And then now they're like, okay, well now, they, and you know, they only fish in the winter time when we're shallow water fishing way back up in the creeks. and. Yeah, this should be, we are kind of like the stepping stone. And I don't care who, oh, there he is. Better fish. <laughs> and I don't care who you are. Fly rod, live shrimp, dead bait. This is stuff fun right here. Redfish, they're plentiful enough that we can catch them all year long, but there are certain times where it's, it's, it's game time on the big ones. 
It's a fire truck with fins. They're gonna have that big round head on them. They're gonna have that big broom tail. These things are just gorging themselves on pogies and mullet. They're gonna dig for the bottom. You just don't think it's ever gonna stop pulling. Carolina. Being a guide, it's become more about the process than the end result now. To see other people progress and enjoy the outdoors the way that we have, that's more our job than catching a fish. Stay off the bank just a little bit more. I didn't see that. We got 14, don't you think? Oh yeah, all day long. Convict. I think a guide's perspective is, is supposed to change people's idea of the outdoors, show them what is possible and, and why it's worth protecting. You can go jump and fish <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Ah, I'll just kind of keep that rod up a little higher, maybe the only thing. Ah, uh, little puppies. Ah, oh, little guy. Look at your pretty little guy. Pretty clutter. There he goes. You can go back in your hole over there, right? Go down. That's fine. I'm gonna get where you tell me to get. I hope I can keep fishing for as long as I possibly can. I couldn't imagine doing anything else.